every other day that we wake up in the morning, we do not know what is going to come before us every, during the day. And generally, in 2011, 8th August, there was a publication that ran in the New Vision. Five villages of Bududa were hit with landslides. This affected so much the people. The government spent 8 billion shillings trying to rescue the people during this disaster time. It was a very sad time for the people and also for the country. A lot of money is spent in unforeseen budgets, planning for, in, in solving unplanned for circumstances. Iwadima stands for early warning, early response disaster management which is a radio-based, mobile, and web-based application that enables key stakeholders get responses on disaster victims and communicate warning messages on disasters. Before a disaster happens, it's very important that the people get to be informed that a prior scenario should be planned for. Currently, there are very many tools that can be used to be able to determine how disasters uh, are going to take place. But these tools are not accurate enough, or we cannot understand how much impact is going to be caused. Um, a disaster is a natural or man-made technological hazard resulting in an event of substantial extent causing significant physical damage or destruction, lo loss of life, or drastic change to the environment. These are very, very drastic in our world today. From the experience, as I mentioned before, of Bududa, being a place where I come from, it has really been so terrible, and up to now, they're still facing the consequences of disaster. In 2012, in 2011, 10,000 households were destroyed in Haiti due to earthquakes. And, and if you look at earthquakes happening in the current world today, it's not a very big news in that when they happen, they are mild that people do not really understand exactly that it is even taking place. And they call them the green earthquakes. The same thing happens to floods. Um, yesterday but one, uh, we got information on the Iwadema platform that Zimbabwe had a green flood. But w what is the potential impact of the floods to the communities? Automatically, there's destruction of crops. There is displacement of people from the area and, and they go to other areas where well, but they are not even aware of what is happening. Eh? They do not know the soils that they can be able to plant their crops. And due to all these, they get affected in one way or the other. And um, with the Iwadema platform, we put it into consideration that there is need for early reporting and warning as the first stage of managing disaster. Then there is a response in case a disaster happens. And then there is immediate evacuation during the time of disaster. But one thing is that on the platform we have made the work so simple that we have enabled duplex communication in terms of disaster between the victim and the disaster management point. And you, you ask yourself, what do I mean by a disaster management point? A disaster management point, these are key stakeholders, organizations, companies who play a very influential role in helping solve disaster in our day-to-day -day lives. And without them, then a disaster cannot be overcome, a disaster cannot be managed. I will walk you through the video of how the application Iwadima works. As I mentioned before, this is Iwadima Early Warning, Early Response Disaster Management. And 
without a warning a response to the summoning. That's the welcome screen of the Iwadima mobile. We know very well that evacuation has to be carried out by members of the local community, the community emergency response team, the law machineries, the re representatives of society, the health authorities, the ministries of emergency situations, and all these are populated in the disaster management point, which is the dashboard. So when one comes to Iwadima, they can be able to identify whereby the different disaster management points are within your location. We have used a special feature of triangulation whereby when you come to the platform, you're able to look at the nearest disaster management point within 50 kilometers and where you can be able to get immediate help. And we have populated the database with all the information that you need, including the phone contacts of the respective key focal persons in these areas. <clears throat> when you come further into the Iwadima disaster management point, when you, you can be able to even determine the distance to the nearest disaster management point. But at this, po at this point, we are looking at an area which has only one disaster management point. How many stakeholders can necessary for helping, it is, uh, helping the victims during disaster? Before anything goes further, you need to understand that you have to register for the platform. Registration, it involves using your handset. We decided, we carried research in 2012 and 2013 to determine the trends of mobile application development. And we discovered that the Android platform is picking up so, so fast. And because of the market, we decided to build something on a platform that is easily reachable to the end user. Right now, one is registering to use Iwadima. You register with your name, your email, and your contact number. The main reason as to why we pick the name, email, and contact number is this is the information that we use to contact you during a disaster. And once you have the Iwadima installed on your phone and you push a message, time comes whereby you will go through duplex communication after sending an alert message. And this is the information that is needed. If you don't, if you don't have your phone number, how are we going to talk to you? When after registration, you will get a notification on your handset showing you that you have successfully registered on the Iwadima platform. During disasters, initially warnings take place using microphones, but this time there is enhancement that we're going to embed both cognitive radio systems and technology, which is ICT. The Iwadima platform has a very clear dashboard for ad administrative points, the disaster management points, whereby they're able to tell the latest disaster. And the, they can be able to communicate effectively during times of disasters. These disasters are mainly earthquakes, landslides, floods, because they come, we do not know when they are coming. And even besides, even fire has known to be a disaster during these times. When you're in a compromised situation, when you have Iwadima installed, the interface is so easy whereby you just simply push a button to be able to send a disaster response to the disaster management team. As you can see, you just have to push the button, and after pushing that button, you're able to give the next intent, the next information, which is the disaster name, and then the description of the kind of disaster that you're facing. This information helps the disaster management points to be able to know how best they can help you. Uh, special features are being added into the platform whereby resource best help comes in. What do I mean by resource-based help? 
because there are different stakeholders who say for us we are providing evacuation to the disaster victims. Then there are others who say for us we shall be able to provide food and clothing. Then the hospitals will provide medication to the disaster victims. And with this kind of resources, they will come in in the second phase of product development whereby you know which, who exactly is going to give a resource. When you push the message, when you press send the message, automatically your position is identified. As you have seen, we have recorded the latitude and longitude and you'll get a notification that you have successfully sent a disaster message. After sending this message, when the disaster management point gets the message, they'll go into duplex communication since they have the details of the person and the victim who is sending the message. So they'll have immediate communication to tell the state of the disaster and the victim. In this case, we'll keep on seeing an earthquake. Even the animals get scared of earthquakes and destruction takes place. Evacuation is important for during disaster management. And after they have identified, then the disaster management team, since they know the information that is coming in is, through, is very secure and trustworthy, then they will come and plan for an immediate evacuation for the victims during a disaster. With help from the respective stakeholders who are playing a key role. And this briefing to the, to the people who have been affected about the disaster. And in case there are key community members, they can also come and join the disaster management team, such that they be key volunteers in helping people during disasters. These disasters, they do not know whether you're a child or you are old. Everyone has a role to play in disaster management. This is how the, the Iwadima platform is going to work. And every emergency situation, children, elderly people, all fall victim of disasters. And together we can be able to gain peace and save lives and live in harmony after a disaster, once the disaster has been managed properly. Thank <laughs> you.